Okay, hi, my name is Ellen Wong and I am driving a uh, 2009 Peugeot 308 GT. Uh, it comes stock standard with 175 uh, brake horsepower and uh, 240 newton meters of torque and probably up to 260 newton meters of torque when you have an overboost, a little click at the end of the um, the pedal. So I have just decarbonized the engine uh, with this company called the Dask uh, Dask Workstop Auto in the Jalan Kuchai Lama, and they have done a brilliant job in the decarbonizing this car. This car is about seven years old now, and it's clocked about ninety-six thousand kilometers. And I've never decarbonized before and after decarbonizing it uh, the engine actually feels a little bit smoother especially on the higher ends uh, it just pulls the car a little bit more than before it doesn't hold back um, definitely more power and you know it doesn't give you much more uh, problems uh, what I also realized from after decarbonizing is that the fuel consumption has improved quite tremendously um, yes, it has. So basically, when I drive at approximately 90 kilometers per hour or 100 kilometers per hour on a straight road, um, there's no gradient, let's just say straight road, I am averagely getting about, you know, uh, about five to, well, about five to six liters per 100 kilometers. Uh, previously before this, before the decarbonizing, I was getting something like uh, uh, 7 to 8. So generally I think there's a good about 40, probably 15 to 20 percent improvement in terms of the fuel consumption. That's that's quite a lot. 15-20 percent is, trust me, is quite a lot. So in a while, uh, when the road permits, I'm going to try and just uh, see how much power I can get from this so if you have not decarbonized your car, I would strongly suggest that you do so uh, approximately 20 to 30,000 kilometers each time or once a year, okay? Um, there are many ways of decarbonizing. Uh, the Prince engine especially has got uh, a tendency of having lots of carbons, okay? So, so I, I would strongly suggest, very, very strongly suggest that you decarbonize your engine to ensure that you have optimal power on your car. Um, yeah, you know, it's it's a very interesting uh, thing that you can do with your decarbonizing uh, because a lot of carbon built up, especially on the Prince engine. If you're driving a similar engine, uh, on, it's either on a BMW or on a BMW Mini, you will also face uh, quite a bit of uh, carbon on the seat because basically it's the same engine, right? So. So you will actually face the same problem, okay? So I'm going to just try and show you first on the uh, frugality of, of the car. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see this, but uh, hopefully you can. Okay, uh, as you can see, uh, the speed now is about 60, 65 kilometers per hour. I am uh, now driving on six gear. Right, so as you can see, it's uh, going down to about cruising at about 70 kilometers per hour. All right, uh, not really, not really uh, cruise to the optimal speed of about 90 to 100. But so it's very unfair to make a statement, right? So let me try and uh, drive the car to an optimal speed of about 90. So at 90 kilometers per hour, I'm just going to put it on cruise control or 88 kilometers per hour cruise control uh, slightly uphill now and uh, no I've got another Peugeot right in front of me a 407 uh, nevertheless uh, I couldn't go okay let's just see about 80 kilometers per hour it's gonna cruise uh, it's going uphill slightly and it's going at about 5 liters per 100 kilometers right so uh, 5.2 5 
Well, that's that's quite amazing, isn't it? Uh, with this kind of frugality, at five, uh, 4.9, and I am actually going to reach the toll plaza of uh, Jalan. Oh, well, this is the Federal Highway, and I'm going to reach the toll plaza here in the Batu Tiga. Okay. All right, I am on second gear now. I uh, just want to show you. Second, third. All right, I'm gonna slow down now. This car's in front of me, running at about only 70 kilometers an hour or 80 kilometers an hour. All right, back to sixth gear, downhill. And uh, what I'm going to try and do is to set the cruise control at 90 kilometers per hour and uh, let you see the frugality. Okay, we have downhill and now we're going to a flat surface. So you see I'm still averaging about 4, 4.6 now, 4.8. Going slightly uphill at 5, 5.1 uh, liters per 100 kilometers. You know, I think it's great, 5.2, 5.3, going slightly uphill, you know, and uh, here you go, uh, even slightly uphill here in Shah Alam in Federal Highway after the the uh, Batu Tiga toll okay uh, a little bit flat 5.4 5 uh, cruising at about 90 kilometers per hour okay we're gonna slide uphill here now uh, on my right is the Shell petrol station in Batu Tiga uh, yes it's go all the way up to about 8 8.6 liters per 100 kilometers and uh, I have a slow traffic right in front of me braking now let's take a look now and let's see I'm just going to go now 67 70 kilometers per hour let's go let's go 80 now let's try and see if I can get it 80 all right okay let's see um, a little bit flat here and uh, at 80 kilometers per hour let's come down to about 5 5.1 4 point yeah you know slightly downhill now but okay now it's flat now it's flat three point it goes back up a little bit uh, looks like it's slightly uphill but nevertheless you see it's averaging about four ish to five ish uh, at 80 kilometers per hour. I think it's great frugality uh, at six gears, okay? Uh, let me try and push it up to about uh, 90 kilometers per hour now. Let's take a look. At 90 kilometers per hour, uh, slide uphill right now. Slide uphill before I reach the top, which is Let's take a look. I'm going to go to the left this time. Left cars. Okay, now I'm on a flat surface. Let's see uh, what am I getting. It's coming down to about 5, 5.7, 5 5.5, .5, uh, 5.5 liters per 100 kilometers. Great frugality on the Peugeot 308. It's a T7, I don't know, I think it's a T7 uh, GTI. I oh, know it's not GTI, it's a GT. Uh, Peugeot 308 GT 2009 uh, well it's made in 2008 but uh, I've registered it in January 2009 slight downhill uh, and uh, yeah great frugality it's amazing isn't it next thing now it's all about power uphill uphill just goes oh my that's go again on fourth gear okay slowing down 